theorist. You know that I'm a conspiracy theorist. Mm -hmm. And there's something that I can you can I can somebody can bring up and I can totally like oh well I see why you say that because it because this this and this and that if you don't have that logic right there to even be able to put two into put your own sense to what I'm saying right then and there we're not gonna work the logic right there it has to be in balance you have to be able to understand whether I'm too complex or not complex at all it's my logic if you can't understand my logic and I can't understand your logic, okay, people are raised differently. Mm -hmm. So some people go through traumatic experiences. If you can't understand why this person is this way because of their trauma that they've been through, mm -hmm. then right there, you're not logical enough. Mm -hmm. So it's the logic. Uh, I, I'm just very surprised by that because guys are the logical creatures. Like, And don't get me wrong, there's definitely, like I was saying, the guys are bitches today. There's definitely some that aren't logical. They're emotional little bitches. But, but, but if you really look at it on a grand scheme, men are usually very logical and women are usually very emotional. So it's just very confusing that you have that issue unless maybe those guys are finding flaws in your logic. You know, if like they're like, uh, that conspiracy theory is wrong because of this, or I can show you this website, this Snopes, like this Snopes article shows that that was fake, or you know, and just so just that, be, just be ready to uh, argue against something that's yeah, extremely logical. And you know, that's is what I'm looking. Okay, if we can, if you can come up with your own logic, and we can go back and forth and teach each other things. Okay, cool. But if you're just shooting down my logic because I'm a very, I'm, I like to talk about things that the, your normal person metaphysical all the yeah. fun stuff yeah like i'm into that so if we can't engage in a conversation like that and i'm just a complete idiot to you or <laughs> or if you're a complete idiot to me then okay i just want you to know a lot of guys are gonna think like i understand why you're bringing this up because i bet most guys don't like this shit and the reason why is because guys are super logical creatures if you're saying some stuff that is far out or just like he can easily prove it's wrong or something like that. He's probably gonna lose some respect for you if he sees that you truly believe in that and like you're you're like really standing on that mm -hmm. shit. He might be like this fucking dumb bitch. And like, that's you know, how and like I check my list off. Like yeah, this is not gonna work. That's why yeah, I just yeah. choose to just like you know what. Hey, all I'm saying is maybe listen to their side and see if you can like curve yeah. into theirs. You know, like it may you might you might find that that guy was way smarter than you think. You never you never yeah. know. For for you, um, what's something about the dating marketplace that bothers you a lot? Here, talk closer to my. Um, I would say exactly what you brought up comprehension. That's the biggest thing. Comprehension, understanding what the other person is saying to you. Because most men will say, I will, I want a logical explanation or I want explanation that they can understand. How we think is not how that man is thinking. So right. half the time, they is not understanding how we thinking. What they we feel to respond and not comprehend. Yes. So comprehension is the biggest thing because I've found that I'm, you know, maturing and growing as a young woman. And the biggest things in relationship is comprehension with men and understanding both parties because mm -hmm. a man is not going to understand you all the time, the way you coming off, especially with our emotion, like he said, being more emotional mm -hmm. because they're looking for a logical explanation behind the emotion that you're bringing they want to hear something that they can understand and it's logical to them because you can say something and they'd be like it still don't make sense that's not a logical explanation say something that i understand because right now just dis disproved everything that you're trying to bring up because you're bringing up all this stuff but you ain't explain nothing that they understand and i've had that issue so that's the only reason why i can say the biggest thing is comprehension because I've had my own hard time comprehending the man and the way he's perceiving the way I'm coming off of him, coming off my perspective. Like he not understanding because he's not comprehending and right. I'm not comprehending either how to respond mm -hmm. to him. So mm -hmm. the biggest thing is learning how to process those emotions and explain it and show it in a way where they understand it. Mm. Man, I, think, I like that. Man, that was a word salad. I don't think that is anything <laughs> like. No, what are you talking about? As far as like comprehension <laughs> and talking goes, like y'all got to realize y'all <laughs> fucking suck at the communicating because oh guys, guys do not like to communicate. Yeah, like, here's right. the thing: if you're no. sitting here trying to have long ass conversations with your man about like, some deep ass stupid shit, shit up, you bro, and your yeah, dude, it's like we're not emotional. We don't want to sit there and talk to you about your feelings. Like, you got to understand. And I'm tired of y'all sitting here thinking it's always about you, you, you. And I get why yeah, because in today's society in today's society y'all are
are worshipped. Women are fucking worshipped as the great – are put on a pedestal. Dads are spoiling. That's just how it is. Like, I, you have millions of simps because of the internet today. Millions of simps that will buy y'all anything and get nothing in return and they're okay with it. You just okay? literally shot my whole space Yes, down. because I want you to understand that what you're doing is shooting yourself in the foot. Like, if you would just stop like trying – Like, Tori Lanez and Meg the Stallion. <laughs> he didn't shoot that woman. Yeah, I don't know the truth, he but – she, she says he did shoot her. Apparently, I don't know. the friend did it. I feel like, <laughs> as a tourist, I'm I take my oh, logical shit, side of things like seriously. Right? So that makes me come off as more masculine, and I can say I do come off a little bit intimidating to men, just because like I'm the type of person where you can't tell me nothing, and it it has to sound more logical than me. You have to be like where I can allow you to take the lead, where I can feel safe. Otherwise, if if I don't feel safe or if I feel like I can't let you take the lead or if I feel like you don't make more logical sense than me or if I feel like you can't teach me something, then I won't even – there's no chance right It goes there. back to what I always say. Stop choosing these fucking losers, ladies. <laughs> Stop fucking choosing these guys. I'm tired of y'all complaining. I, I deal with this every week, every Monday, Friday. I got tons of girls complaining about these men. Fuck, man, Sometimes stop choosing them. Maybe the losers, losers. Losers. they yeah. just trick us. A lot of men, they play the role. I, and, and that, and what am I doing right now? I am yeah. teaching y'all the tricks. I have given y'all all the sauce. Go on, y'all have got Y'all have got all the sauce. Tricks. There's no more. There's no more excuses after I've given y'all the sauce. There's no reason for y'all to get finesse anymore. And one of the biggest things I'm gonna, I want everybody to really drill this in your head because most people aren't doing this is you got to be celibate. Because if you're fucking sleeping around, you're fucking up. If you're fucking that dude, you are digmatized. You are so screwed. Mm -hmm. And the guys that really love you, that really want to be the man, the husband that you could maybe find, he's gonna walk past you every fucking day, and you'll never see it. Like y'all, that's the biggest thing I try to teach ladies. Y'all cannot be sleeping around. It's gonna hurt so you. And, and, and another so thing, another, another thing is like y'all, uh, there, it's something called pair bonding. And the more people you sleep with, the more like the more you can't pair bond. So that probably like you don't want to sit there and get digmatized by a new guy every every month or every few months because you're gonna not be able to pair bond and you'll never be able to have somebody. Not lying, do y'all remember health class when we was kids and they made everybody take health class? Because mm -hmm. I know. If you were born in the 1990s in this old age of time, you had to take a health class. Mm -hmm. They did talk about that releasing bonding chemical with your first partner is stronger. And as you get with like people, it get weaker and weaker. So like the more you have sex and the more you get with, you know, different people, that bonding chemical weakens because you've gotten with so many people. So. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I and, and, and I will say it's dangerous on both me. sides. Like, like they like to say that guys can sleep around as much as they want. I like to tell guys, don't do that. Don't try to go because some other channels will teach people go get fifty bodies before you take girl serious. And I oh. and those are the type of things where like it. I do think it's damaging on both sides, but it's way more damaging for the woman. And it's just biology. I'm it's just good. science. Like I it mean, just sucks. Go I feel like almost every dude done had fifty women. Well, <laughs> once again, the ones you're messing with, the agree. ones you're messing with, you're completely correct. Some of them probably have been hundreds. I can agree <laughs> only because we are emotional creatures. So we're, we're, we will be doing it for the emotional side of things. So, yeah, I feel like us women, we should protect ourselves by not giving our emotional side up to men who don't give a crap. Because, yeah. mm -hmm. I mean, they're not doing it. Like but I that. feel like as women, like to say that, it weakens like I feel like it's in our nature to be loving and to be nurturing so I feel like that doesn't have anything to do with anything right they just don't deserve well, it and the they thing should get is, it exactly we are good I at feel... forever be nurturing and caring and loving and affectionate like and I'm a multiplier to... let's mo yeah. let's let's like we're on mothers. the multiplier. Yeah, like you give me whatever you give me, I'm gonna multiply yeah. it. If you give me bulls crap, I'm gonna give you that back. Multiply it. So you give me that. food for groceries, I'm gonna make turn into a meal. You give me yeah. a house, I'm gonna turn into a home. So now it comes to us having to value our status, who we are, so that way we let them know, and like whatever you bring to me, I'm multiplying it. So what do you have to bring to me? I'm telling you, guys respect y'all too a lot more whenever you uh, know your value kind of like that, you know? Like, I, I think that if you go on dates and, like, you make it very clear, like, how much you can uh, provide to that person or how much you can compliment them, I think it makes a huge difference, man. Because most women don't bring shit to the table but pussy today. Mm -hmm. It's and, and, like, y'all, and y'all know, if you asked all your friends, you know, I bet they'd be like, I don't gotta bring shit but my pussy, you know? Like, it's <laughs> yeah, just like, that's, that's just ridiculous. really how it is because that's you know all what? you need. No. Me and my friend, we go, does it add value? <laughs> we about, does it add value? When we do something, we going to ask, does it add value to my life? We not about to sit here. What you call it? Does, do I add value? Does oh, it yeah. add value? I'm not going to sit here and fuck with somebody just because I bring pussy. Does it add value? Every decision, whether it's a relationship, 
decision, life, all that. Does it have value to you? My question is, are you, what are you additional to me? Because I already know who I am. I already know my greatness. I'm working on that as an individual. So, well, every man should be a provider. That's and, what I teach them that they should be being to y'all. Yeah. You know, but most men, like what, like I was telling y'all, because the dollar's been devalued as bad as it is, most men can, the, the average income is like 38 grand or something or less than that. Like that's like, that's horrible. And an average, average in America is horrible. Average is overweight. Average is um, short. Average is low income. Like, and that just for both men and women, like average is really bad. But in reality, a lot of us are average and we need to find somebody. I feel average. like a lot of times as women, like we know our value, like we know our value. So we don't, we choose not to settle. That's mm -hmm. what that is. Right. But, but here's the thing. You're right. You do know your value. But the problem is sometimes y'all sleep around too much and then your value is decreased and you're still thinking you're up here. Um, you're still thinking do, your value is up here. A lot of girls don't know that though. I I like, yeah, yeah, they don't, yeah. but they need to learn it. And, and you know it intrinsically. When y'all are little girls, when y'all are growing up, you intrinsically know that your value is in your pussy. Like everybody knows this when you're growing up. Yeah, because like, like, you, I don't you know lose it. my virginity. Yes, like everybody, it's a very natural thing. Like, yeah, you know it. It's just culture tells thing? us it's okay. Yeah, go for it. She had a big point to bring up. I want to hear it. You want to hear what I got to say? Yeah. I mm -hmm. feel like a lot of men, we can go back to the pussy thing. And we can go on, on and on about that. People have their different views on that. Not just saying I'm just Until a Until force, please. Not just saying that I just have an extreme body count. But my thing is, we're making it so big on the vagina, the vagina, the vagina, the vagina, the less bodies, less bodies. When men, like... They might see the quality in you like I might I can tell a man like I'm 24 like I got my own business I ain't got no kids and they like Ooh. I make my I, I'm my, I wake up and go to bed when I want to I make bread in my sleep I have no kids and I'm beautiful and I'm young and I know what I bring to the table mm -hmm. so I can go through you 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 because you're looking for that you're looking for somebody that's beautiful that ain't got no kids that can hold her own. And yeah, it can be but, submissive. Yeah, but so, what you gotta understand is a guy can read that you have a high body count. We can tell we're not we're not gonna ever ask you. We can tell just by your Instagram, just by having a date with you, two or three dates. I can tell how bad a girl is just by talking. And guess what? Okay, I would so never what tell you. That. What do you judge about? I, I got a question. Right. I got a question. What real are you judging quick. by? I got a question for you. List off what you what you say you uh look for or what a man should look for. The I, things that you have. I feel like a man should look for a woman that that just describe what you bring.